I picked up the whole shot again, adding the somewhat hazy end, the frame trembling under the force of the wind beating us down on the cliff, everything I had cut in order to tidy up, and that said better than all the rest what I saw in that moment, why I held it at arm's length, at zoom's length, until its last twenty-fourth of a second. The city of Hay May spread out below us, and when five years later my friend Harun Taziev sent me the film he had just shot in the same place, I lacked only the name to learn that nature performs its own Dondo Yakis. The island's volcano had awakened. I looked at those pictures, and it was as if the entire year 65 had just been covered with ashes. So it sufficed to wait, and the planet itself staged the working of time. I saw what had been my window again. I saw emerge familiar roofs and balconies, the landmarks of the walks I took through town every day, down to the cliff where I'd met the children. The cat with white socks that Harun had been considered enough to film for me naturally found its place. And I thought of all the prayers to time that had studded this trip, the kindest was the one spoken by the woman of Gotukuji, who said simply to her cat, Tora, Cat, wherever you are, peace be with you. <laughs>